I've been on a bit of a advanced skeleton tear lately, so I thought I'd show you something that I really like about um, about this plugin. So if you go to your advanced skeleton menu um, at the top, which is now I think built into Maya, um, but if it isn't, you can install it uh, for free online. So uh, if you have it up there, you'll notice that you have all of these little icons. And if you select this one, you'll get a bunch of body controls, which are really great for when you're trying to move things, but you don't want to grab it in the viewport. You can grab the controller um, on that little, um, I guess, selection tool, and it is a good alternative. Uh, and they also have one for the face, which I like a lot too. So if I wanted to move the eyebrow, I can move the brow. He's kind of losing his brow there. Um, I can, uh, I, oh, his tongue, his tongue. It's a, it's a really easy way to get to the tongue because the tongue is usually kind of hard to grab. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. But the thing I like the most about these is that you can reset the pose to start. So I've given him like a crazy, just pose for an example. Um, and his face also has like, I changed it up and gave him like a funny little smile here. So we say we wanted to start from scratch and I was like, this isn't working for me. I need to reset. You just go to the pose drop down and reset. And that'll put him in T pose again, or whatever pose you rigged him in. And then the face is still um, posed. So we're going to go to the face option, pose, reset. And that is back to normal too. So these are great to use. And um, you, you might have already known about these pose resets, but just in case you didn't, they are so helpful. So um, uh, happy animating. <laughs>